The holy grail of physics. That's how big this is. A group of South Korean scientists claims to have discovered the world's first superconductor that works at room temperature and normal pressure. Dubbed LK99, the breakthrough could render present-day power networks as outdated as the telegraph. It changes the way we harness electricity and employ transportation. Unfortunately, LK99 has since been disproven. But if the technology were theoretically possible and commercially manufacturable, it would revolutionize the world from top to bottom, making it one of the most important scientific discoveries of our time. Picture floating trains that accelerate at high speeds, or flying cars that travel along invisible magnetic tracks. And yes, the levitating hoverboards seen in the movies. And even though LK99 is not the superconductor it was briefly hyped to be, that hasn't stopped investors from taking bets. Stocks tied to relevant technologies have jumped anywhere between 10% and 30%, with the company American Superconductor climbing as high as 60%. Room temperature superconductors would herald a world of energy abundance, but also game-changing geostrategic transformations. We would see new types of magnetized weaponry and the military exploits that come with it. A room temperature superconductor is a once-in-a-lifetime quill that can redraw the geopolitical map. Essentially, the nations that wield the innovation today will inherit the world of tomorrow. Today's video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. War Thunder is available on PC, PlayStation and Xbox, and in crossplay between the platforms with no purchase necessary, just download and play. The game has an arsenal of more than 2000 historically accurate tanks, planes, helicopters and ships from the 1920s to the present day. What I enjoy most about it is the way the combined arms is played out, with air, ground and naval vehicles interacting with one another. Every vehicle is incredibly detailed, which adds to the game's immersive combat experience. All this powered by incredible graphics and detail in 4K resolution backed by great music, sound effects and realistic physics. Best of all, it's free. So. Play War Thunder now using the link on the screen. Upon registration, you will get a large free bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, premium account, boosters and much more. A superconductor is a material that can convey an electrical current without any resistance, meaning it can transmit power with perfect efficiency and do so indefinitely. For comparison, all electrical cables have electrical resistance. A small amount of power is lost between one end of the line and the other. Meanwhile, modern batteries can lose up to a quarter of stored energy over time. This is why smartphones and computers overheat. A superconductor would put a stop to that. So, if the technology sounds like science fiction, that's because it is. Ordinarily, electrons cannot pass easily through solid material because they bounce off vibrating atoms in the structure. But in some materials, at temperatures near absolute zero, the electrons form loosely bound overlapping pairs. And these can't be deflected without breaking the pair. When the settings are near absolute zero, the vibrations aren't strong enough to do that. So, these electrons glide through the material unimpeded. Mercury, tin, lead, niobium and dozens of elemental alloys can turn into superconductors when chilled to near absolute zero. In and of itself, the technology is not that remarkable. Conventional superconductors can only operate in low temperature and high pressure settings. Environments that have more in common with outer space than our planet. 
this then limits the practical applications of conventional superconductors. And even in devices where they are applied, conventional superconductors require substantial power to remain cool. Room temperature superconductors, meanwhile, operate in typical everyday settings. In theory, that is. The quest for this breakthrough has been ongoing for decades. The South Korean LK99 is not it. International efforts to reproduce the results have fallen short. So the whole thing is fake, intentional or not. But let's suppose for a moment that LK99 was the real deal. After all, physicists and material scientists around the globe are drawn to room temperature superconductors precisely because of their revolutionary applications. If the scientific community has theoretical evidence that superconductors are viable and the material is mass-produced within two decades, it would change the world as we know it. Foremost, the way we harness electricity would undergo fundamental reshaping. The existing power grid leaks around 10% of energy in transmission. In the United States, for example, about 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity are wasted on transmission losses. That's equal to the output of America's three largest nuclear reactors running 24 7. With room temperature superconductors, we would have perfect power lines, which would save billions of dollars in energy costs while also reducing carbon emissions and boosting the growth of renewable technologies. Infrastructure worldwide would change. Nuclear power plants could be redesigned, making them more secure and durable. Data centers would consume less power. Electric vehicles could drive over longer distances, consumer electronics wouldn't overheat and batteries could hold current indefinitely without maintenance costs. But it gets crazier. Room temperature superconductors could lead to new public transportation designs, such as magnetically levitated trains that travel at record-breaking speeds with perfect energy efficiency. People could travel from America's east coast to its west coast in 20 minutes flat. Distance would no longer be an obstacle, and international trade and intercity travel would change dramatically as a result. Shipping costs could be reduced since transportation-related emissions would drop. The globe would become even smaller than it already has, and more globalized for what it's worth. Room temperature superconductors could also boost the development of quantum computers, which is currently in its nascent phases and fail when slightly overheating. With room temperature superconductors, personal computers would be redesigned. There would be no more need for a thermal system, optical fiber would be replaced, and high-speed computing would be possible. Imagine a world where today's most advanced supercomputers are condensed into the size of a smartphone. Back in the 1950s, IBM developed the world's first supercomputer, with a hard drive that weighed over a ton and stored 5 megabytes of data. Information technology has come a long way since. With room temperature superconductors, the devices of the future would make today's powerful supercomputers seem as rudimentary as IBM's first supercomputer. Moore's law would go into hyper mode. Room temperature superconductors would result in an era of extraordinary industrial growth worth trillions of dollars. It would create entirely new industries and generate millions of jobs worldwide. Simultaneously, the companies that channel this technology could emerge as the economic power brokers of the 21st century. But be that as it may, the tapestry of progress has two common threads, civilian and military. Perfect energy efficiency would transform militaries in the same way gunpowder changed the battlefield. Modern military systems, from individual soldiers' gear to aircraft carriers, rely heavily on electricity. Room temperature superconductors could compartmentalize equipment, making it lighter and more efficient. Think of more powerful radars, planes, tanks, guns, and all new types of magnetized delivery systems. 
the nations that lead in military technologies would emerge more powerful than before. America's power projection would expand significantly and reduce the need for much of its overseas bases. At the same time, the superconductors could lead to a redistribution of political power. More efficient power storage and transmission could undo the political weight of hydrocarbons. Nations that produce oil and gas would see their political clout fade away, while those producing renewables would see new strategic opportunities and advantages. The current power dynamic that exists would change fundamentally. Iran, Saudi Arabia and OPEC would lose political and economic leverage lest they enter the superconductor game early. Russia could go either way. A perfect energy efficient transportation system would unify the country as never before. But it would lose out on hydrocarbon revenues and the political perks that come with it. For China, the Malacca Strait would lose some of its importance. Not all, but enough to turn overland trade corridors through Central Asia into viable alternatives. Across the globe, governments would rush to secure supply chains for the requisite materials needed to make room temperature superconductors. Australia, perhaps the mineral wealthiest in the Western world, could see even more economic growth and become a nexus that holds Western material supply chains in place. However, as nations acquire greater power, they must also shoulder greater responsibilities. The economic and military potential of room temperature superconductors could very well lead to a new technological arms race. Diplomacy could turn into a legal battlefield over patents, market access and technology transfers. Even medium-sized nations would enter the race. The stakes would be too high to sit it out. Overall, the transition to superconductive technology would be incredibly disruptive. Entire industries would fall apart, while others would emerge from obscurity. Some nations would fall behind, especially those rich in oil and gas, but poor in science and technology. New military threats would emerge, risks we cannot yet empirically measure. Ideally, nations would find a way to balance economic growth and technological superiority while pursuing international cooperation. But that's just not how humans are wired. The risks and rewards of this groundbreaking technology would likely bring out the worst in statecraft. Opportunity, more likely than not, stirs the darkness in humankind. It reveals both the noblest virtues and the most destructive impulses. Remember to play War Thunder now on PC, PlayStation or Xbox using the link on the screen. Upon registration you will get a large free bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, premium account, boosters and much more. War Thunder, get it now!